telling you, bro. That's that soul on uh, ice. You can't hate it. You just got it. Uh, I'm telling you. I know it, it ain't flashing. I don't know nothing. Nothing crazy about it, but that was some that gritty West. Hey, man, I'm on a show called Hood Hype, and I'm drinking a uh, uh, Bud Light Limerita. I'm not I'm so hood. What the I fuck, am, man? People fuck with the Limerita, though. Heavy. <laughs> this shit's fucking me up, though. Tell me, tell me. It do. That shit fucking my ulcer. I can't deal with it. Too, too much sugar, man. That's too, to leave that shit my alone. diabetes acting up a little bit. Right, I ain't got diabetes. <laughs> Ulcer, motherfucker. Not diabetes. Why'd yeah. you take this away, man? It What's irri- that? It irritates my bunions. <laughs> <laughs> it's it is bunions. Hell yeah, man. Sh- Shouts to Montage One, man. That was a dope ass track, though. Do you remember when you interviewed Raz Cass at A3C last yes, year? Yes, and he was high as fuck and not paying much attention. He seemed really smiley and happy. Yes. He Did was... he have that Caesar haircut? Oh, yeah. He had a hat on, man. Okay, good. You he sure? had that Caesar haircut yeah. for a second on Twitter, man. That yeah, shit man. fucked me up. You man. sure about that? Yeah, if you want to see but the haircut and the hat, you can go get the iPhone app and then buy <laughs> the in-app purchase for two oh, bucks. Shit. That's tight. Right, I did that. Good. I'm about to look Or maybe we'll answer. interview him again if you send us to A3C by going to hoodhype.com. Maybe so he'll pay attention this time. That one, he was gone. <laughs> he was. was. He's like, I don't know. I'm just trying to go see Big Daddy came perform on stage. That's kind of dope, though. You're, yeah, you're a lyrical cool. ass rapper going, hey, I got to go see Big Daddy Kane. He did. He was. You know, he showed up patient. and said, I can't do this interview. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Laws. Laws was a cool ass. Laws dude, was, man. man. I like Laws a lot. He's yeah. a, good, a good guy. You know who I was shocked with the humility was Ninth Wonder. That dude, he was like, "Hey man, how you doing?" Yeah, because you could tell he was tired, frustrated, but he was still a who professional. Approached, did you initially approach him? Yeah, I pro- I approached he approached him and said, I "Hey man, can we, can we get an interview?" And he was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." He did the bullshit. Yeah, yeah, I'll get back with you. What they always do. <laughs> but he actually came and tapped. Yeah, he on gave the me the brush off, yeah, and then he came to get me. Like, we gonna do this or what? And I'm like, yeah. at this point, we was ready to leave. We was like. Yeah. Uh, it's another blow off. We're ready to go back to the hotel and change clothes. And he's like, hey, "What's up, man? We 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 good or what?" So yeah, no, knife was cool, super cool. Yeah, even though he was, you could. T- I mean, what did he say? He had been on like three cities in like two days, and yeah, he was. They were doing out. a movie and shit. Pull yeah, for a movie or something. Nah, shit. man, knife was super cool. Everybody, was, that's why I love A three C, man. You know what? I didn't really meet an asshole. I didn't really meet nobody down there. That I'm like, yeah, he's a fucking dick. But don't forget, static. Nah, but even yo, he's the nicest blow off I'll guy ever. Yo, I got you. you. He be like, like, ten minutes, ten. <laughs> Me and you, ten minutes. Yeah, I, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> you see him twenty minutes later. I I know we missed it. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Nah, man. I, but he was cool about it though. Oh, I had a friend like now, that when he owed me money and shit. <laughs> he be like, hey man, yo, I can't get into it, but. Next week, <laughs> he's like wimpy and shit from Popeye. Yeah, I will gladly play hey, you Tuesday. Today. It was always Tuesday. Uh, hamburger yeah, today. Man. Yeah. No, <laughs> I had a dude. I got a dude that owe me money right now. Post on Facebook today. New bedroom set shows up tomorrow. Oh, oh, I'm oh, oh, next week. Man. Mexico trip in a month. Hell Life's bro. great. Ah! <laughs> like that man, I'm, I'm coming to your house to sleep. Fuck that. Yeah, he ain't even that much money. His ass gonna need money his whole life. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We be balling, dog. We just borrow money out, buy bottles of fucking vodka. I write stuff. that shit off. I take cost Mola me 400 crazy. bucks. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm just fucking sponsorship. You never know, dog. It's good oh, yeah, karma, man. We might do a Valentine's vodka show at some point. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> do it. Yeah, do that, yeah. Look at this. You gotta get that pose, man. So many college people get a commercial spot, man. What is going on right now? <laughs> Try the product place. Man, yeah, that's incredible. Shouts to Prada. Valentine, Valentine's Day is coming up next year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Now I hate to, to bust the bubble and get to some some nitty gritty shit. We're all gonna die. Yeah, it, pretty much. <laughs> I, I, We're I in the basement, though. We can't in. we can't see the the helicopter. Are we safe down here? We're safe. It's sure. lead. It's leaded. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh right. shit. Let's get into it. Then. Uh, it's right. leaded. Yeah. Uh, you oh, know you yeah. can't get a Triangles. cell signal down here. Yeah. We can yeah. get cancer. Yeah, get but cancer. no cell signal. That's nope. cool. Yeah. All right. I'll rock with it. But <laughs> nah, man. If you watch the MTV shits. I didn't watch. The VMAs? Yeah, I, I don't... I did used you to. watch them? Ben? I know you watched VMAs. You couldn't miss that shit for the, the world. Fuck I did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch TV. I watch movies only. I don't like commercials. I like this guy. dude. I like yeah. movies. Yeah, yeah. I only watch movies once. 
I never bought a movie my whole life. I never watched it twice. Now I can't fuck with you. <laughs> hey, I, I was with you. For, you had me on. I'm the, I like busy, movies. man. I got to do this fucking lawyer shit and write raps and go oh. to the gym and not be fat. That's <laughs> what I my whole day. Every day. That's all I got to do. Shit, yeah. now I gotta go to the gym. Small, Shit, man. now I gotta write rap. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then it's bed time. Then it's time to go to so, bed. So you watched the shit, man, and yeah. I heard it was Illuminati Central. Yeah. You told me the imagery was just was triangles. Triangle. Triangle. Right out of the gate. I'm sitting there with my wife. I'm like, watch. <laughs> Mola One said to watch this shit. I'm going to watch it. It's the Illuminati Award. As soon as so it you came watched on. Mola. Oh, hell yeah. As soon dog. as it came right. on, I said, boom, See, I triangles, all C&I. Oh, this is boom, 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 boom. Right away. Right out of the gate. Off the rip. So to you, it was in your face. The little mouth, they was throwing their flag up like, right off the we bat. here. Yep. Oh, for sure. Yeah. We on your TV hey, man, and you watching. Look, I mean, we could keep going with examples and shit. There's something, bro. There is something. There's puppet strings being pulled, man. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the fucking all-seeing eye. I don't know if it's the owl. I don't know if it's the baphomet. I don't know if Jay-Z's pulling strings with Rothschild and shit, but all of this shit's There's crazy. a lot of people in high There's places with sore like- booties, man. Uh, see, no, see, you're going to a whole other anger with it, man. Because the thing is, Oof. whenever we get to Illuminati, it's always so fucking vague. And I think that's the problem why people don't, specific, they don't, they hey, don't take not, it serious. Right. No, it's the not thing vague. is, you bring an MTV, then you're talking about people's booties are sore. And we're like, yeah, we, we <laughs> way, yeah, yeah, that's like A and E. We, we way apart, man. So... They probably have a special on that shit on A and E yeah. also. <laughs> but fucking, if you want to go nah, man, back connect to... Connect the dots, Mac. Here... Do or I mean, thing, I mean, you could. How about how you started the show off? Tupac the, came out. I've never heard anything so fucking blunt that he's saying. People told me when I was in jail, start up and join this Illuminati shit. That's where the money's at. And he's like, I put the K in front of it because fuck that shit. It's trying to keep me down. I'm trying to empower myself and get smarter and go go uh, go beyond that. And all these people are telling me that fucking I'm gonna make money. This is gonna be my shortcut. He said, Ain't no politicians trying to get Thank at you. me right now. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm just gonna say one of the things that fucking really stood out is how he's saying that it, it's a way to keep people down and keep their self esteem down. Now, whether it's true or not or whatever the fuck, when you got Lady Gaga. You got Jay Z, you got Bloomberg, you've got the Rothschilds, you've got Jay Electronica, all these motherfuckers rolling in the same dirty circle. You got Rihanna. Are these all power players? Is that why they're all friends? Or are they all friends because now they're power players? Are they power players because they were fucking initiated somehow? The thing I don't is, know, man. but when I hear all this shit that went down with Taylor Swift at the awards before where Kanye cut her off and interrupted her, then I found out they got the same agent. Then I found out that this is some sort of weird initiation where people get embarrassed. On you don't stage. think it's a publicity this stunt? Is crazy. Fuck yeah, I thought it was. Absolutely. Absolutely. Why couldn't it be Kanye, just that though? Kanye was going to lose more fans than she was going to gain. I'm sorry. Opposite. opposite. I was going to say yeah, Kanye was gained, not going to lose as many fans as she would gain. She got fucking crazy popular after that. Yeah, See, she know, was popular, man. but she got crazy popular. The thing is, that I, poor little girl got fucking interrupted by Kanye. See, I. I subscribe to there's people pulling the strings. And I've said as much. Well, That's no. why I'm not voting this year. I don't give a fuck. Sure. I don't, yeah, it don't. Obama and Romney, yeah, they play for the same team, dog. It's, it's choice A, choice B. It's a black helicopter squad. Yeah, man. It's, yeah, yeah. It, it's really not it's a true. choice. Yeah. And if you think that, that, you know, that they're so vastly different to me, you're a puppet, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. I mean, you got a they're right not. to say I'm an asshole. But I'm just saying, I think they're. I mean, dude, Romney did Obamacare in his state. Man, the, the so United, like, the yeah, United I mean, States is a restaurant. Yeah. And we're voting for the best waiter. Yeah. It's Whopper, they're, it's they're, Whopper they're, or Big Mac, they're, man. They're, they're going the to tell us what today's specials are. Food. They're going to serve up whatever's on the agenda. Yeah. So, the so, banks are cooking. My point is, though, when I get to, like, That's shit, like the VMAs, it can't just be entertainment because the thing that I don't get, the Illuminati is called, what's that? That's the Keepers of the Light? Or they're the... The light the bearers, light bearers, right? Like and then Lucifer you got was the, the light bearer, the Baphomet, and all that shit. Yeah. There's different names for the same thing. Sure. There's a secret entity that the occult that controls. You know, yeah. And, and when you get the occult, you you tiptoeing closer to the Bible, right? Which I really don't want to get into, right. but and that's where I'm coming from, man. Like, dude, I get that there's. I, I believe there's someone else pulling the strings. Some weird, as wicked, far as the system going goes, on, man. But what the fuck does Rihanna? You know, or triangles on the stage at the sure. VMAs. What does that have to do with this grant? Maybe, like, it's, maybe, oh, it's, maybe I got it's, that. Like, yeah, maybe Rihanna, it's Rihanna's not. She's not 
I, I think I, I think it's programming and familiarity and throwing up the rock symbol and and being able to identify with something. Then when you see it again, so, so you, you saying you're so, it, you so keep the rock it, it's repetitive. So the rock is Illuminati. I don't know if the rock's Illuminati, but I'm saying everybody's throwing that. So shit. I was at the concert like this. So I was so, too. Yeah, yeah, so I'm like, I was too. Am I, am I'm I, like, I, I love Rockefeller Records. Listen, what's up? Listen to this. What's up? All popular media right now is a matter of misdirection. Every popular 100%. song. That hits like the top ten charts has the same theme. This is your night. This is the night. Yep. We're gonna have it tonight. Yep. Which basically means what to people? Your life is gonna fucking suck. Yep. So, so concentrate on the five right. minutes in front of your fucking face. Yep. And tonight's your fucking night. Whether yep. you're pushing a fucking hoopty or you're on the bus, yep. you can get wasted and care about tonight and don't care about That's tomorrow it. because don't pay attention tomorrow. When people stop paying attention about tomorrow, they stop fucking paying attention to who's making moves and what's gonna happen in their future. And then they don't fucking pay attention to who they vote for or they don't vote at all or they don't pay attention when they get fucked by who they did vote for because they're too busy with this is tonight and this is the five minutes in front of your face. You, my is, friend, sound like a believer. If, if there is any relationship <laughs> between the Illuminati, which I don't know what you want to call it, my personal opinion is you follow the money and it leads to the Federal Reserve. Right. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. whatever it is. Salute! If, if, yeah. 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 We all agree with that. If, if there's any relationship between whoever the fuck is pulling the strings and popular media, it's this. Wave the motherfucker. It's just like wave yeah. that fucking red cape in front of people yeah, so and that, have them charge exactly. at that idea so they don't pay attention to what's happening right That's now. Okay, there was a time exactly. in this country where other generations thought about what was going to happen in a decade and thought what was going to happen in two decades and thought about the future. It's like the in song, a long don't stop thinking about tomorrow. Thing. But yeah. yeah, but right now, what are we thinking about? Is it tonight, girl? I'm going to make oh, you. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yep. Like bullshit. How many songs yep. you heard that fucking tonight? <laughs> tonight this and tonight that and this is our night tonight. More, more than ever. It's true. And more than ever right now. And yeah. that's what it is. Ever. Popular media. You might be on a something, though, because the thing is, like, when you think <laughs> about right. it, man, like, if you into, like, like if you are a controller, yeah. Twitter should be your enemy because it should it could be a tool that allows people to be more aware. For sure. But all it does is no. it allows people to be more in the now yeah. and more, like, in yeah. their little it's like The, the news, news has turned into zone. entertainment news. People forget. Like three days after something happens, we're on to the next one. Okay? Now, does we did anybody a story about remember? That, about Trayvon does Martin. anybody remember yeah, that, that President was, Bush's yeah. whole fucking election was possibly a fraud? Does that matter anymore? No, we're on it's to insane. the next one. Yeah, yeah. No, Absolutely we're on to the next right. one, dude. It doesn't fucking matter, dude. Three days after any one thing happens, yeah. something else happened, and you can only pay attention to the five minutes in front of your face in this generation. How, how about it's even got worse because that five minutes in front of your face is now getting molded because of filters that are online. Yeah, so if yeah. you click on certain things on Facebook or some shit, it's going to show you more of that and nothing else. Right. right. You used to get a broad scope of everything. I got a lot of friends on fucking Facebook because I, I try to do that to get my music out there. I got like fucking 3,000 friends or some shit, and I'm only seeing shit from the same like 30 people. Right. If I click on someone's name, though, I see that they posted something 10 minutes ago that, that I've never, never seen in my life. And people be like, hey, man, you see my new song and shit? I'm like... Nah, man, let me check it out. And they probably think, this fucking asshole, I know you see my... I didn't. Right. Yeah. And I look online and I'm like, wow, man, this is the same fucking shit over and over and They're over and over and over. filtering that shit. All right. Google cool, does it. They they all Google, shit, Google does it. I mean, they've done it for Not China. only is it only yeah. that little fucking five-second span like you They said, do it regular, though. But that's gotten no. filtered yeah, to I the mean, point like, where it's like the, the, thing, the blinders are getting bigger and bigger. No, the thing is, is like, you, can, you, can search, you can search of mice and musicians. You search it once. And then certain results will come up. You search it again, and different results will come up. Yep. And if you search it and I search it, we're going to get completely different results yep. because I'm based looking on your for, preference. based on the shit that I'm looking at. So yep. my point is, is exactly what they're saying. It backs it up. Is we're being focused in on like what they want us to see. It's crazy. Well, dude, a, a scary story broke, man. This was on BGR Boy Genius Report, and. I don't always fuck with them, but this story caught my eye. Or this is a dude who used to work for the CIA, and he said that the United States government <laughs> has a data center, which is going to be like, I, I forget how many billion they're putting into this facility. But he said there's already one major Internet subscriber who turned over 300 million emails of their customer base or subscriber base to the feds. For no reason. Wow. So you're not even suspected anything, terrorist, nothing. They already handed it over, and they took your data. And he said, it's, it's sitting in a data warehouse right now. And he's like, and all they're doing is continuing to reach out, yeah. get more and more 
Comcast. I mean, get them all to. Sure. And once they all cave in or, you know, give in or whatever. They can feed you whatever's on there. Yeah. Channel. And the thing is, you could not even be talking about something bad to the government or anti anything. Oh, that's But it. they're still going to have Jesus it. Christ. It's just like, dude, come on, man. I mean, when do we draw the line and say uh, enough's enough? When you going to stop getting in our shit? Especially if you're not doing nothing. That's fucked up. Yeah, that's we, fucked up. I don't think that. I don't think we are. The fucking Illuminati just killed our video feed. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Quit playing. The video's dead, but the Probably. audio's there. You know what? I posted something on Twitter about the uh, Illuminati Awards, what I was calling it that night, the VMA yeah. Awards. I posted it, and I'd seen it posted, and the shit was removed. Quick fast. I went back to it again. I posted it again. It got deleted again. I told Ben, I'm like, this is, I mean, I told uh, J-Mac, I said, this is fucked up, man. This shit got deleted twice. Yeah. It's kind of So then I posted, my shit got deleted, and then I posted hashtag Illuminati, and that stayed up. Because it was almost like, all right, I got my fucking safety spotlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was able to post it afterwards. I don't know if that's true or not, but that was kind of fucking weird, too, That is weird. Now, let's see how deep y'all think the wormhole go, because... We talked at the top of the show about 9-11. Yeah. And another anniversary just passed. And depending on who you subscribe to, as far as your beliefs on how deep the Illuminati rolls, how involved they are on events that we see on a global scale, your whole opinion on 9-11 could have drastically changed over the last 11 years. Now, Mac, I know you fuck with Alex Jones. Yeah. I don't believe that the so you still don't shit. believe nine eleven is a false I don't, a false flag operation. I mean, as far as like if somebody was paid to run those planes into the buildings, not about pay. I'm not, saying was it a but, to but 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 that's it, the explosives in the building shit. I don't believe that shit. It's all bullshit to me. I do not buy it at all. The loose change. So you thing, still I don't believe buy it was a whole one hundred percent terrorist act? If we were involved in influencing those dudes to. To hijack the airplanes, I won't disagree with you. What I will disagree with is explosives being planted in these buildings. The all that shit. Uh, yeah. tank. That I'll, shit, that, that shit that. never made a whole bunch. I'll much, never buy that. As far as the planes, though, you think the planes could have been oh, Without a doubt. I without did, a doubt. If you backtrack with the with the Afghanistan and, and the Taliban and shit and look at how we the influence relationship the people. Yeah, I mean, Osama. without a doubt, it's, it's possible. I won't disagree. I disagree with both of y'all. What'd you say? I'm gonna put. See the shot glass stand from me. I'm gonna put my finger like this. I'm gonna hit it on top. What happened? Fell the fuck over. Why'd you do that? Oh man? yeah, did it crumble? Like I played with Legos a whole shitload when I was a little kid, dude. When I built the Lego <laughs> tower and I hit it from the top, it fell over. It didn't crumble on itself in a straight line all the way the fuck down, dude. You have to compromise the bottom foundation of a building to have it fall straight down like a fucking tower, bro. It's not possible. Yeah, it felt like with, a demolition with, with the project. It's demolition. not fucking possible, dude. Like, anything... Dude, that that's shit, not... That shit was scientifically... That, that was that no, was all wasn't. torn apart. Yeah, they... No, they torn they, apart tor- by who, though? I seen the same shit on YouTube. I seen a bunch of videos Where on YouTube. Where they're talking about the levels... Of dude, they I say did, it's too. physically it's a in fucking possible to make it crumble like that. How do you like figure? That, unless you compromise the bottom part of the building. It's physically impossible. There's pictures I've seen, dude, where there's blowouts coming from the middle of that building while the planes are hitting the top. Like they like a bomb popped a little earlier than and it it's needed not, to. Yeah, I've seen that shit too. Okay, like my, my I, I problem mean, I'm too just is- saying it ain't fucking it don't add up. I can't tell you what is it is what it is, but yeah. I can tell you what it ain't. There's I disagree. Some, some loose I disagree. My my thing with the whole take was and I remember this shit clear as day. I know we all remember uh, what happened when we were watching what happened on 9-11. What were you the, doing, by the way? The first thing, well, I, I was actually, um, I was working for Payne Weber. Okay. And I was I was studying for my Series 7. I was going to be a stockbroker. That was that was my Bang. angle. Damn. That's what I, I should have done. When, what that, about shit, y'all? What, when that shit happened, it fucking, it changed everything, obviously, and that's why I took a different route. But. Where was you at at the time? I was in my freshman college dorm room at Western University, Broncos. What's good? Yes. Uh, <laughs> shit on fire. Um, and I was sleeping on the top bunk, and my roommate, his dad called him, and he, like, smacked me, and I was hungover. And, <laughs> and I was yep. just like, what the fuck, dude? And I leaned over, and I remember leaning over, like, and looking down at the TV. And you sobered up real quick. And fucking, that was a strange day. And Did you I, see both planes already had hit the tower? I don't, I, I just remember seeing the news feed and seeing the, yeah, both planes had hit the okay. tower. 
And then I remember going to sit outside, smoke a cigarette, and I remember looking up at the sky and like just thinking like, shit's mad peaceful here, man. Right. And there's some people in some fucked up situations right man, now. How about went, you, bro? Went, Go ahead. Now I was sitting, I was sitting at work doing my shit at the computer, and my sister called me, and she says, "Man, a fucking plane just hit the building." And I was like, oh. And we were both talking, oh, it must have been one of those little yeah, like single little engine. The shit, dude. Oh, that's crazy. And I'm sitting on the phone, and she's like, holy shit. A fucking passenger plane just ran into the other building. Oh. And I, I told my buddy who was sitting next to me, I said, my sister just said that a fucking passenger plane just ran into the second tower. He's like, we're under fucking attack. Absolutely. And I was like, I got to call you later. Yeah. And we were all like, fuck. And we sat there and watched it for the yeah, next four hours. I was at work, hours. too, though. That shit was, yo, know, I'll never forget Where you that, at? man. At work, we just came back off our honeymoon. And oh, shit. Yeah, wife called. She was like, plane just ran to the second one. I got on, what was it, MSNBC at the time? Yeah, online. And yeah. I saw the second one hit. And then I remember after the second one hit, I remember we lost data. Because I think the whole, it was all, everybody everything. jumped online yeah. and the shit just got... Fucked up. I, when I got to work, we had the fucking in our office because, of course, we had the stock tickers and all that shit going on, and constantly got fucking all the all these all these different programs on and shit. You got the NYSC, the C-SPAN, all that shit on on TV when we got in. And when I got to work, the first plane had already hit the building, and everybody was talking about like, "Oh my god!" Everyone's watching with their jaw completely dropped. You know, yeah. we're all sitting there. I can't believe I, it. I saw the second one hit, and my fucking stomach dropped, dude. All of us were just like. Yeah, you saw okay. a fireball and shit. It's, it's it was going it was down. Fucked like, up. Right when it happened, dude, all of us, like, were on the verge of throwing up kind of thing. Like, that's how fucking sick you would feel by watching it. And the thing is, you start seeing we people. saw shit that people didn't, like, nowadays, people jump it's off been the censored. Building, yeah, we, that's saw, the we saw all saw the, people jump in the fuck out the crazy building, shit. Man, 30 stories that. up, I'm going to try and make it. What so, the fuck? Now nah, they were going to try to make shit that just You know what I'm saying? They don't want to get burnt alive. That just hurts less. Yeah, exactly. We got that a caller? We got Ill One from Grand Rapids, Ill Michigan. Ill One, what's good, fam? What's up, Ill One? What up? What's going on? What what's up, West side of Michigan, what's up? What's going on? Man, I, that day is it, it, real vivid because um, I was at work when that was happening. And um, um, I work in a factory, so, uh, you know, we have radios going on and stuff like that. Well, just one guy... He's uh, working, and all of a sudden, he sticks his head out of his uh, area. He's like, plane hit the uh, World Trade Center. And we're like, what? You know, it didn't make sense. We're like, what, what the hell are you talking about? Mm -hmm. And then, um, of course, you know, time goes on. So people are starting to talk. He's like, yeah, I heard a, a plane hit, blah, blah, blah. Then he said another plane hit, you know, at, at further on. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, everything just stopped. Everybody's like, what the hell? What is going on? And the radio stations, they, they stopped, they changed their format, everything, and it, it was just crazy. That so shit after was surreal, that happened, man. We, it was crazy. Yeah, pretty much we uh, we had to go home because nobody was working. And see, where I work, um, somebody, well, we, I, I make signs for a living, and someone, we had a, a, an account with the World Trade Center, and someone was supposed to go there that day to install signs. But the funny thing was, he, he was in New York, but he was caught by traffic. Wow. If it wasn't for that, he would have been in that building, probably wouldn't be here today. Wow. And yeah, it was, it was, it was messy. Everybody was talking about that, but um, we ended up going home early, and um, I had a second job, worked at a record store. Uh, I had stopped there before I went home, I was talking to my, uh, my boys and stuff, and we were, that's where they had it on TV, and I was looking at it, and they kept replaying the, the plane hit and stuff and it, it was it was crazy i couldn't believe it but the the funny thing was like I, I posted on facebook that was the same day the blueprint came out yeah so, yeah, that was yeah crazy. it was kind of messed up because you know pretty much it seemed like the world stopped but in the hood shit kept going cats was coming in buying that shit you know you got that new jay-z oh that shit's fucked up what happened you got that new jay-z it was, it was just weird <laughs> <laughs> you know it it was really weird that day, <laughs> just when that when that happened. It, I, uh, you it ain't just, lying, dog. It, yeah, I remember Bernard yeah. Hopkins and Felix Tito Trinidad was supposed to fight that Saturday, yeah, and they delayed yep. that bitch and. Sure did, yeah. That shit it, it was just, fucked up my world. I'm like, damn. <laughs> well, if it Viva delayed, Tito, like, yeah, God, yeah, that it. shit fucked it up. <laughs> nah, man, it was just yeah. everything stopped that week. It was crazy, real yeah, crazy. It, so, it was, 
Remember, comedians were scared to tell jokes and shit, yeah. SNL, all yeah. that stuff. Too soon? Too soon. Yeah, yeah, man. Nobody knew. That was that was really, really tough for everybody, I think. Yeah. I, I watched SNL. It was the most somber event that I've ever seen on TV. I've always been such a huge fan that of it. Was that was supposed to be funny. That but was such yeah, a they gut couldn't. check, too, man. Yeah. And then they kind of sucked it up and said, we got to make people laugh. We got to help people out. Right. That's now, what music was like. Now, Ill one, man. I you ain't got to go deep with your political philosophies, man, but... What do you say, man? Eleven years later, was there some funny business at hand on nine eleven, or you think it was just you know straight up how they reported it? Well, uh, at at first, you know, I I was just going with what everybody else was saying. Oh, it's terrorism, terrorism. Then I started to look at like the the Fahrenheit nine eleven and all those like those movies and stuff. And then I was like, well, it could be. I'm uh, to be honest, I'm still on the fence about it because I'm not sure. If I, I w- I'm thinking, like, why would the government do some shit like that, you know, to start a war, to start all this chain of events? But it, it, it's you never know. It's not too far. You know, there's a lot of things that, that add up, and then there's some things that don't. So I'm still on the fence about it. I feel you. I think that's the smartest answer. Smartest guy says that he ain't sure. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Very true. Yeah. Take all it right, easy, one. one. Appreciate it, my dog. Right. G-Rap. Yep. I mean that's true, man. The thing is, man, like the the there's a part of me that says, why? Why would anybody want to do that shit and deceive that many millions of people? Because I mean, it opened up the door to the Patriot Act. I, I know. Well, but his, his see, you're going too far. You yeah. jumping ahead. I'm just saying. Yeah. Ill, Ill ones like <laughs> Ill ones like we don't believe you. You need more people. Yeah, man. man. <laughs> but no, it's. I mean, when you start digging and you get to the you know underneath the surface, yeah, there's there's a. Hundred percent, a billion reasons why. And, that's that's and my three take, wars right. that were never signed off on by Congress, Ever. required by our fucking constitution. Or the yet UN we spent trillion dollars. On no that. support by the UN. Yeah, and that Patriot by that, that Patriot Act is like a puppy compared to what they got in place now. We got support by gun. How do yo, they can? Yeah. So it was wild, you don't even got to be no terrorists, and they will. They will haunt you. We've lost we lost a lot of innocent lives in every Caller, what's up? Big Brother Timex from Denver, man. What up? Timex, what's good? What time it is? What's going on, fellas? What up, man? Yeah, you know, it's a pretty good occasion for me to call in on the first time ever, man. So what I've up? been listening to you fellas for a few months now. Uh, it's like the one podcast I listen to, man. So definitely got to give you your props. My dude, appreciate that, man. man. That's good to hear. Colorado. Man. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. I'm in Colorado now, but I'm from Jersey, and uh, growing up, I spent a whole lot of time in New York, and some of my fine, fondest memories uh, with my dad in the city in Manhattan, man. So when this happened, I'm telling you, it was crazy for me. Uh, a lot of the people in Colorado, I mean, we all, you know, the Americans here, we can relate, but I had just visited there two, three months ago, and uh, I'll tell you, I, I woke up, turned the TV on, and saw the first tower on uh, smoking and if I remember correctly they didn't know what happened and I was on the way out the door before the second one hit but I'm in my car and all the radio stations had live feeds on what was going on and nobody was quite sure and then uh, that second plane hit while I was in the car and I mean I never felt like that before as I'm driving to work I'm looking at other people in their cars wondering do they know what's going on we under attack and it was real strange, the blank looks on everybody's faces. I was driving to work, and I'm telling you, it was the worst day I could I could deal with at that point. After about an hour, I had to leave, man, because I got a lot of people out there that yeah. still live there. And, I mean, cell phones were down. It was tough, man. I couldn't even deal. So that, I feel you, man. The thing is, like, when I talk to, like, my moms, you know, God bless her soul, she was still alive back then. And she was like, you've just witnessed your Pearl Harbor. It's like your Kennedy assassination. She, because she went through all that. She, she went through when Martin Luther King got killed, when Malcolm X got killed, and she's like, "You guys have had it relatively easy. She's like, you haven't had to endure that big shock. This is your way, or that, call. yeah, or that yeah. big event where it just jars you like to the point where you're never gonna forget it for the rest of your life." That, and I'm, yeah, that, that makes that makes a lot of sense. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, nah, you but, good. But that that makes a lot of sense. I really never actually thought about it. I mean, it is one of those, I mean, not just one of the things that change your life, but everybody around you yep. that people will remember forever. And, uh, I mean, I'm sorry we had to go through it, but as far as uh, Illuminati or any big government involvement, man, I've tried to think about it 
And I know a lot of people believe that there was some sort of funny involvement, but man, I'm just all I can do is even though I hear proof and hear things stated, I try my best to believe it ain't true. You know what I mean? Right. I mm. feel you, man. I mean, it's easier to sleep at night to think that you know is. everybody on your side's on your side. Because when you think exactly. the other way, I can I can tell you it's it's paranoia. You worry. You're like, God, damn. It starts out like Tupac, yeah, right? If it's like that, then. It is what it is. Yeah. Well, nah, sipping I mean, Hennessy, talking about everybody's your enemy. Yeah, so I, I, well, I respect out. both sides, man, because there's no concrete proof. Uh, I mean, yeah. in in the public eye, there's nothing. There's no smoking gun either way. Right. right. So, yeah, I mean, you know, it, it is what it is. It's, it's hard to it's hard to believe that you know. I mean, we got enough enemies here. So you want to believe that whoever's on your side is supposed to be on your side. And right. You're 100 percent right on that. So. You know, I'm going to make this phone call short, man. I just want to throw that out there for you, fellas. But, you know, uh, props definitely on another good podcast. Mola, good to see you back there, man. Thanks, man. And uh, props to you, fellas, man. I'll keep listening. Hey, right, man. Call again, my dude. Salute. Be for Colorado. All right, now. Be All right, fam. Boulder, Come Colorado. Here. I had a lot of fun Play. in Boulder, Colorado. <laughs> That's a great call, man. Great call. Go to music. Music, man. I got to yeah. reset this shit. Lee? Yeah. Oh, the video's still fucked? Yeah. God damn it. That's what it though. is, man. It's Mike Bogan, right? Yeah. Can you spawn this shit? Mike Bogan? Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Enemy Anthem. Check that shit out. Horny. Horny.